what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today I am starting a new build and I'm not sure if this is gonna be my enduro bike or if this is gonna be my motard or if I want to build just another track bike but we are building another Apollo and I've been spending like the last 15 minutes cleaning this thing up and it's actually cleaning up pretty good I should have showed you guys what it looked like before you'll see in the thumbnail if I took the right photo or not but uh, let me show you guys what we got here today we're just gonna get it cleaned up and then we're gonna get some coats of paint on it and then uh, we're gonna go over some of the parts and maybe the motor stuff that I'm gonna use for this bike. But for now, let me show you what we're working with. So here is the other Apollo frame. This is gonna be the one that's gonna be getting built. It's an ADR 110, which is um, an RFZ 2C. So this one had a 110 in it. And luckily I have another 110 motor because I just put a 125 back in Apollo V2. So we're gonna be using this sucker right here, and I'm not sure if I wanna make this the Enduro, the Supermoto, or just another track bike. But for now, it's cleaning up pretty well. I gotta remove the subframe, gotta remove the mounts. Um, trying to straighten the piece back for the oil cooler. I do have an oil cooler kit that I'm gonna be using on this bike. Um, I was gonna put it on V2, but I'm gonna keep it on this bike, and I'll probably just order another one for V2. But everything seems to be straight. It's got the CDI mount tabs, the subframe is removable. It's got a little bit of rust, so we'll do some sanding down. Um, gonna get a coat of paint on this bad boy today, maybe a couple coats. I probably won't be doing the swing arm because I always do swing arm in a different color. Um, we'll get the mounts and stuff taken off. But that's what we're working with. So we're gonna get this thing all cleaned up. We'll get it painted. And then we will go over the stuff that we're gonna use and plan out this build. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or if you're not in any of the Facebook groups, um, Apollo V2 or just the Apollo race bike because we didn't get to complete V2. She is running again. We got her running yesterday. We got another motor in there. So she went from being a 125 to a 110. Now she's a 125 with a 140 head. She runs pretty good. She actually runs really mean. I rode her yesterday. Um, got to do some tweaking and stuff with the chain. It's a little too tight right now, but she's back and going. But let's get back to the today's video. Let's go ahead and finish getting this thing cleaned up. Do some sanding if we need to. Get the subframe off, the mounts off. Um, mask over the plates. I don't know if I'm gonna take this one off because this one is just saying it's an Apollo, but this one has the VIN, the model, and all that stuff. Uh, so we'll just mask over both of those. And then uh, once we finish cleaning it up, we will do that and then we will hit this bad boy with some paint. As you can see, I just laid like a quick little base coat on it. Uh, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll start to hit it. That way we'll get some real good coats on there. But I just went ahead and hit everything on it except for a little bit up here at the back. But uh, once this starts to dry, we'll go ahead and get up there and stuff too. It's kind of hard to get the inside of this with the angle that it's at. So we'll find another way to sit it down. And you can see the color I decided to go with was white because I have nothing but a lot of white paint left. And uh, it beats happening to go buy some more. So why not work what you got? But yeah, we'll let that dry. And then we will get back to putting a coat on it. It started to kind of like bubble up right there and stuff. So I don't know. Might have to let that dry up real good and then sand it down and then hit it again. But for the most part, she's coming out pretty pristine.
it up. Got some nice wet coats of paint on there. There's a few spots I got to go back over and touch up. I think I bumped it against my shirt or something. But she's hung up. We're going to let her dry. She's looking pretty nifty. And it looks a whole lot. There's a couple runs, some spots. It doesn't really matter. It's all going to get covered up. We have a mosquito leg. But yeah, there's a couple spots that's going to run. It doesn't matter. A lot of it's going to get covered up. It just looks a lot better than that old rusted, faded black color that it was. Um, not going to be perfect spraying it out of a can. But like I said, once it super dries, we can always go back, hang it up, touch it up. Yeah, because there's a lot of runs right there. So we'll sand that down, touch it back up, and she should be good to go. On the uh, other frame to dry, let's address this bike right here. This is Apollo V2, well the start of Apollo V2. Um, I'm going to be ordering a bunch of different parts and giving it another look. Now you remember the frame used to be green, swing arm used to be black, a um, bunch of different stuff. I don't know what I was thinking getting white grips because they were white probably for about 20 minutes, if even that. Um, but yeah, I want to get some more parts put on here now that we got the motor and stuff in here dialed in, everything running solid. Um, I need to find a chain guide because that was our main issue with the track. It has a different kind of chain guide than all the other ones. But she's dirty. I cleaned her up a little bit. Um, yeah, probably going to go do some riding on her here in a little bit. Just wanted to address the fact that I haven't forgot about this one. Micah, finally, the bars are not on back order. So I should have four sets of Micah metal bars on the way. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. And It's going to get new forks. It's getting new bars. We're going to try to find another tank because that steel tank still has a little bit of rust in it. Every now and then it's getting in the carb. I was able to put a fuel filter on here yesterday. So that's kind of helping. But you can see that fuel in there is really, really dirty. Um, but yeah, there she is. She's solid. She runs. I rode her this morning before I started all this. And I rode it a lot yesterday. Me and Brokefoot went out. But just wanted to give you guys an update on Apollo. She will be Apollo V2 here shortly, especially with all the time we have with this uh, epidemic, quarantine, apocalyptic, mass chaos thing we have going on. But yeah, there she is. I got the frame hanging up over here. Going to let her dry. Um, you guys probably don't want to see the whole process of, oh, it's done, it's dry, it's white. So that's where she'll stay. And um, you'll see her in the next video when we start to build her up and add all the other parts to it. I got the frame in there drying. I'm gonna mess around with Apollo V2. Probably go on a nice little neighborhood cruise since it is a pretty good day outside. It's like 65, 70 degrees. It's kind of cloudy, so it's not too hot, not too sunny. Um, might go off and do some urban moto adventure, go explore some different places and whatnot. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support on the channel. All you guys that happen to watch the videos, all you guys that give it a thumbs up, and all of you that are subscribed. We are 16 away from 100. Can't wait to hit that 100 mark. Uh, probably doing a giveaway or something at the 100 mark. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get in here, dry all this, or not dry, but wash all this paint and stuff off my hands because I got overspray everywhere. Luckily, I wore white, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.